All right. Welcome back, everybody, to a new series, kind of. Um, so we're going to be checking out Metal Gear Solid Five: Phantom Pain. Now, I have played this game on the channel, man, probably well over a year ago. Uh, we gave this game a shot, and um, we made it, I would say, quite a few hours, maybe 10 hours into the game. I don't, Maybe not that many. I, I don't know. We made it, I feel, decently far into the game, um, maybe like... 10 or so hours and it just wasn't the right time on the channel i was still you know real heavy on like stated k content and it didn't do very well so i kind of pulled it back and because it was a game that i really did want to play at some point i was like you know we'll kind of hold this one to the side and we'll come and we'll we'll try to get in the future so here it is guys we're going to be checking this one out again uh but when i did load up my my previous save to kind of try to figure out what was going on and i was lost i don't even remember where i was i didn't so i was like you know what we're just going to start over from the beginning and uh go from there so if you guys do enjoy this and you want it to be a series hey just smash that like button it's the best way to let me know that you guys want to see more of the game uh we're going to start off with this episode and we'll go from there so uh, thank you guys again i appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out uh and yeah let, let's not waste any time now there is uh the way the game starts this is a tactical stealth open world shooter. Now, the way the game starts is actually a little weird, and you're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Because uh, I remember when we streamed it before, I was like, what is going on right now? Like, it just was, it's very Metal Gear, like old school Metal Gear, but it doesn't, I, I don't know, you'll just see. So don't judge the game by the first, like, I don't know, like 35 minutes to an hour, because it is quite weird. Um, but it will then, you know, open up and become the game that, you know, it's marketed as. Uh, what time is it in my country? It is 7 p.m. right now. Yeah, the start is really, really, really confusing. <clears throat> this is a work of fiction. Details of actual persons, organizations, events, blah, blah, blah. Mayday! Mayday! Control's unresponsive! Tower, do you read? Shit! Comms are down! Now, I believe this game picks up right at the end of Ground Zero, so you could, if you guys want to play this, play Ground Zeroes. It's like a little demo-ish game. You can beat it within, like, just a few hours, and uh, it's actually, like, the prequel to this game. Now, I'm probably going to have to mute this. I'm pretty sure this is copyright right here, so. <clears throat> yeah, this part's definitely copyright. <laughs> So you can kind of move around right here. It's like a weird situation. It actually kind of, it's kind of weird how this game starts actually, because uh, as a person, if you, especially if you don't play the prequel Ground Zero before playing this, it is just like, 
why why are you just randomly in a coma? Why are you missing your body parts? You know what I mean? So it, it, it is a little uh, weird without play, playing the prequel. I never, uh, oh, yeah, I'll fix that. Thank you for pointing out that black bar, by the way. I don't know how the hell that happened. My uh, stream software got pulled over. Uh, Scotty with the five gifted members. Thank you so much, man. I I appreciate it. I really do, Scotty. Everybody who receives one of those, welcome to the fam. What do I think about the Wolfenstein series? I've never played the games before. I, I, I have them now, though. They will be played on the channel at some point. Yeah, like I said, the, the beginning of this game is very, very confusing. Do I finish the game? Oh, yeah, we finished pretty much every single game we play, unless you guys stop watching it. Tomo, every every game that you've seen me, for the most part, stop v playing, we've beat. V has come to. That's with the super chat. You're appreciated and loved by us all. Now back to the sassy granddaughter and family. Peace, love, and light. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, let's do it. Start game. How many games have I completed on the channel? Oh, a lot. A lot. Who's man? <laughs> Probably well over a hundred. Okay, so like I said, Who's the prologue's a little long. We'll get through it though. Can you hear me? I gotta get those subtitles on. Yeah. Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. Look up, please. Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? Yeah, so, um... I have played this uh, before on the channel. We, we've got... I think I got about four streams of it in. They weren't very long streams. I, this was back before I, my, my stream schedule was what it was, uh, is now. Um, so I did get about four live streams in of the game. I think we might have had about ten hours into the game. And then I uh, ended up stopping, so because of uh, viewership. See you, so yeah, boy. There it is. Good. 
Now then. Excuse me. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. Plenty of time, chat. I need to tell you something. Please listen. You should have put brain, and right? Try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Mm. Damn it! Come on! No so coma! No so coma! Nurse! Calm down! Calm down! Try not to panic! Wait a second. Try not to panic! I'd freak out too, man. I'm just saying. You'll be alright. But yeah, there, there will be a point that we get into the game where I absolutely don't remember. Uh, or I have that we haven't experienced yet, but... It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Savage. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart, in your skull. Look at this. The, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. Now, didn't you guys say that that... I, I think last time I played this, you guys said that the, 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 life the more savage you are, the bigger that piece to get, and you'll get like a devil horn coming out of your head? This I don't know if that's actually true. Upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. The man it's lost his arm. See with your own eyes. Be brave. No, Sakoma! Grigor! Try to calm down! Calm down! Please! Calm down! It's gonna be okay! Yes! Yes! Calm down! The demon point system? Oh, so it is a thing? Yeah, that means our horn is probably gonna suck into our head, because you guys know me, I'm the king, I'm the mercy king, so... There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world up there, so there's something we need to take care of first.
I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... But we want to look like Snake. Yeah, I've completely turned over a new leaf jet. You guys know how it is. Now, I still don't understand the character customization part of this. I think you guys said it was for the online, right? I think that's what you guys said last time. Here, this, this guy looks cool enough for me. Only if I had luscious hair like that, right? That looks like my character from Ghost Recon. Good chat. Look. We got it. That could be me in another life, right? <laughs> no, his, his, his jawline is way too defined. Oh, you can get scars, tattoos. That just makes us look like a straight badass. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. That's cool as shit. We'll be this badass looking dude. There it is. There it is, guys. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lot more. I'm a lot fluffier, chat. I'm a lot. I'm a lot fluffier. Very good. Now let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection, to hide you from those who want you dead. This shit is so awesome. As of today. Your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name. Your past. Poor nurse. This is you, as you've lived until this day. Tomorrow, it becomes... Your phantom. Isn't that quiet? Because it looks like quiet. We met her later on in the game. And I swear this looks just like her. Not yet. The patient in the next bed's on my face. Of course. Consider it done. Fighting with dead bands. No, oh, she's nasty, dude. Ooh. 
It looks hella demonic right there as we're passing out. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell Eagle, I thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Here in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, we we'll watch you On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. One man's been in a coma for nine years. Gotta learn how to... Gotta learn how to walk and everything right in the middle of a war zone. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Uh, let me see if I get these subtitles on for you guys. Yep, there we go. Okay, so options. Um, sound settings. No. Game display settings. On. Holy crap, guys. We already got over 250 likes on the stream. That's amazing. Thank you so much. So like I said, the beginning of this game is very, very weird. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Sport C3 donated ten dollars. Two checks to your Move sons it. of forest. You're now my favorite YouTuber. Great job with streams. Sport C, thank you so much for that donation. I really appreciate you, brother. I hope you're having a great day. They start to on the floor. You can only go up from here. <laughs> Yeah, it must be nice to be able to just run around on your legs, dude. I'll, I'll be right there. Yeah, no, don't worry about me, dude. You know it, what really yeah. any of my veterans in the chat can attest to this this movement that we're doing is called uh it's just called a low crawl um but my wife actually was one of the first people to say it she was like oh yeah you know they had us army crawling and i was like army crawl like chat there's people out there that really call this an army crawl it's just a low crawl but it really, it, 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 it burns, really burns me up inside chat when I hear people call it an army crawl. That's always what it's been. It's not an army crawl. It's just a low crawl. It's 
not, dude. I swear it's not an army crawl. Because Marines do it too. All right. Shit's about to get weird. This is that Metal Gear weirdness right here, chat. Luna, thank you so much for the super chat. And I'm glad you're glad I'm playing it, you know. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it becomes a series. So bright. And we just upgraded from low crawl into kind of crawling like a newborn baby or like a like a toddler. And then we just got blown up again. I know, Caspi. I know, brother. You've been waiting a long time, man. Baby, it's, it's, it's not an army crawl. Because there's different levels. There's the low crawl. There's a high crawl. It all just depends on how... How you're being shot at. Now we're... I feel like we're crawling worse now. We're, we're crawling worse than we just were. <laughs> now we're... <laughs> oh, dude, how can he... <laughs> Who said it earlier, chat? Who said it? We can only go up from here. No, we, were, we went down. We downgraded, okay? <laughs> no, no, never mind. I take it back. We're walking. Now that's a marine crawl. There it is. <laughs> GG. Skinny CJ. Oh, the elbow. Ah! I did, Caspi. Next time, do it yourself. It's always good to try and mend your injuries while hiding from the enemy. Uh, December 2021, Caspi. Over there. Got the SF dudes coming after us. Let's go. This way, hurry. Keep your head down. Come on, dude. <laughs> you know this. You know we could crawl like this. Help me, please. 
But why? Because he was crawling wrong. <laughs> I love Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Snake Eater is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, same thing with uh, Guns of the Patriots. Absolutely top tier games. thing you guys might like about this Metal Gear Solid game is yes there are missions that require stealth uh, but from what I remember the, in the bit we played you can sh approach yeah. missions however you like like if you're more of a running gun you could do the running gun play style if you like stealth you could do stealth uh, if you like a little bit of mix of both Very, very, when I say open world, uh, you get to really choose how you want to approach an area. You guys will see. What? Don't you die on me, Ahab. I mean, I thought my man was going to stick to the wall. Get caught in those searchlights. Here they come. Hurry. Now! Move! There's a bunch of them down there, dude. Shit! It's ugly down there. Turn back. I'm a Grigora. Come on! Yeah. 
κανένα θα μα σκοτώσουν. Ναι, τον είδα πριν λίγο. What's happening out there? It's all right. We'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. Do you hear that? What's going on out there? Hey! Huh? Rose again? Hey! 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 I can't see what's happening. What is that? What's happening out there? Does anybody know? Hey! You hear them coming? Why not zoom in on his ass crack? <laughs> Focusing on my man's butt crack, it's it's kind of weird. Well, maybe it's just something I don't understand. They're coming, dude. And them shoes are looking mega comfortable, Ishmael. This way. We're sitting ducks. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Would be pretty nerve wracking.
Man, just pulled out a whole rocket launcher. <laughs> you see? <laughs> he pulled out the whole thing. Hmm. Why are you? You're giving it away, man. Oh, I thought he peed. Bro, you know it's not doing nothing. My man could take missiles, bullets, RPGs. Can't handle that sprinkler, though, chat. <laughs> okay, Hold on. We better stop and treat that injury. Hobbit Sprinkler is not on yet. I mean, that's a good point, Kristen. That, that, that really is a good point, Kristen. With all this fire, they should have already been on. Yeah, 
damn good shot, dude. I almost got freaking blasted right there. Just waste a bullet like that, man. That's how you, I was like, I'm pretty sure you could change shoulders in this one. Damn, bro, just push me. Not the suppressor! That's Max! It's Max! I was trying to see what gun we had more ammo for. Oh, I, oh, I forgot they had the ADS in this game. We actually swap to this SMG. Probably get more ammo for it as we go around the room. Yep. So we got a decent amount of ammo now. Yeah, so you can ADS with the guns. Aim down sights. That's what ADS means. Asper, how you doing? Yeah, I'll move my face cam to the other side.
so OP, man. So strong. I never played Metal Gear Survive, no. Gotta be a little... is so strong. That's what I would have done. Hey, if, if shooting him doesn't work, I'm just gonna run his ass over. I guess you could say they're kind of mutants. I don't. I don't really understand the the people because in the Metal Gear universe, there are people who are. I guess you could say mutants. They have 
certain abilities. Um, I think it was in Snake Eater, you had like that bee dude and... Like another patient telling two personal stories about their wife and stuff, not human torts. No, yeah. Reason, brother. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. Nah, yeah, it's when it's. When you said weird, I thought you meant like another patient telling two personal stories about their wife. Yeah, it's weird, man. Genetically enhanced. Trust me, it gets weirder. This one, no! Yeah, the weirdness isn't over yet, Chet. There's still one part I still don't understand. And thank you, guys. We got over 500 likes on the stream already. I really appreciate it. Man got ejected, chat. a lot, right? From Snake Eater? Use this! 
Watch our backs! Shoot him! Careful, that gun's slow to reload! Hold on, there's some type of, like, aim assist or something on the... Whoops. Auto aim cor yeah, turn that shit off. I'm like, oh, it, like, I I hate like aim assist in games because it makes it feel like the game's like, it just forces the controllers to go where you want it to go, and I'm like, nah, dude. There we go. Let's get to missing, baby. I have no idea who the flaming dude is. Like I said, I didn't make it when we played this the first time on the channel. I didn't make it very far. We only maybe did like a handful of missions. Got that A rank chat. No S. Alright, so now, now it just becomes a completely different game. Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. First was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. 
You remember? Your partner, nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan? <laughs> what, you can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? The only reason why we stopped Four playing this before ago, was because uh, viewership fell off. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. The Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. Yeah, so this takes play, place during uh, Squad holding Soviet occupation of uh, Afghanistan. Border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. You'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. Whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Cassim, another three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Solomon, with the seven months, thank you so much. Let's get to watch much. Um, if it's too busy, hope everything is going well. I'm a big fan. Love you. I appreciate you, Solomon. Thank you so much for uh, for finding a little bit of time to pop in and hang out when you can. It, it really means a lot. And we're friends and family, no fans. I appreciate you, brother. It means a lot, man. Here we go, chat. It's go time. The military guys in the hospital were Cypher. It's like a special operations group ran by this really, really bad dude. You, you learn about it in the Ground Zero um, playthrough. The, it's like the I should have done the damn prequel to this game. I feel super, super dumb not playing that for you guys. But yeah, um, there's a little bit of a pre uh, prequel to this, and it, it explains a lot more. There it is, baby. Yeah, it's true. We could do that, Casper. Doug, how you doing, brother? Thank you for the super chat. Happy Easter, man. Happy Easter. <laughs> Hope you're having a great night, man.
under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. Metal Gear Rising? I don't... Is that the one with Raiden? After nine years on ice, the solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces should be the perfect one. Yeah, I think I played that one a little bit. I, I don't think I beat it, though. I never beat that one. I know I played it, though. Um, that game was actually pretty hard. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Marker placed. Got your binoculars? Or should I say, your int scope? Your wife and I have the same birthday. See the By the way, pretty ahead, cool. I right. am doing okay. Ah, oh, Doug, that's awesome, brother. All right. I didn't know that you guys had the same birthday. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Vialo Village. The Vialo Thank Village. you for the super chat, the too, brother. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Marker Good. Placed. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. I mean, it's right down the road, dude. If I got lost... lost in him. I give him three days, Tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. There it is, guys. So yeah, this game is 100% the eyes of those who live open the world, battlefield. you know. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return this big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses... ...and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. And now, <laughs> Afghanistan is an open world jet.
Okay, so we got to gather intel from this village uh, to try to locate where Miller's position is in that other area. So, yeah, you got horseback. Uh, there's vehicles in this game because the map is absolutely huge. Um, yeah. And you do got to be careful because they're it's Russian I occupied Afghanistan. So, uh, there'll be Russian checkpoints. Sometimes they'll have vehicles and, and or patrols and stuff like that. So you got to make sure that you're paying attention as you're uh, you're going through. Now I could completely bypass this checkpoint because obviously. I don't need to go through it, but we're gonna clear it out just for some. See if we can get some uh, resources and stuff. They're bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Hmm. That's marking. Focus on the thread, and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Nice, got diamonds here. That's a rough diamond. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? Yeah, so I know when we get the base later on, uh, we needed the resources for stuff. I never got far enough into the game where the resources really mattered. Um, but I, I remember you guys telling me that we had a... Let me see. We had to uh, start making sure I paid attention to the resources and collected it when I could. Okay, so that's the only guard I see right now. Sound. Keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Okay, there's another guy right there. I don't know if you could do... I don't remember if we could do stealth takedowns from behind. Yep. Got him. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. So we'll stash the body here. Presser's full. Guard post captured. That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. If I could swap over to the AK if I wanted to use their weapons, but ours has a suppressor, so. There we go, we got some more resources here. Oh. Did he wake up? Oh, oh shit. I don't know how to call the horse. Or is that somebody else that found the guy that we knocked out?
I think we got a secondary weapon that's a, s a sleep gun, right? Yeah, yeah, we got a sleep pistol. Like a dart gun. So it takes a little bit for the sleep dart to... Act. Oh, yeah, they keep waking up. So when you knock them out in melee, they don't stay asleep very long. Hold Q. Oh, yep, right there. You can whistle the horse. Extraction arrived at the base. That guy just passed out up there. Right, so we're gonna go around. So you probably want to use the sleep darts to get the uh, a, a longer effect on keeping them up. You're almost at the enemy outpost, Violo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? <laughs> so this is just typical stuff that you do in any military operation. Can you see the village from there? Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. Okay, so we gotta get into this main building here. They said there was a lot of soldiers, but this place is actually quite... Lightly guarded. They got an MG right there, but we're not going down the main road, so we don't have to really worry about that. I don't remember how to bring up the inventory. So we got our guns. And then you got the phantom cigars. Okay, so yeah, this is the cigar you can use to uh, speed up time, right? So if I wanted to, I was like, hey, I, I, you know, I've, I'd rather um, do this infiltration at night. Just to show you guys, like, the flexibility of, of, of the game's system, if you've never seen it before. So, like, say I'm like, you know what? I'd rather do this at night. I could take out the Phantom Cigar. Song will set shortly. So it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Throw on the NVGs. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Hey, oh, Brian, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Uh, if you take too long, Miller will die. All right, we'll manage to make sure we don't mess around then. Yeah. He was a little bit more vigilant than I expected him to be.
So if you headshot with this, it instantly knocks him out. All the noise. Okay, we're good. I don't know how long these guys are gonna stay out, so let's hurry up and try to get upstairs. Get out of here before. Wasn't paying attention, there was a guy right there. A parabolic antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Yeah, I'm gonna speak. Yo, you gotta be actually kind of quiet. I just knocked the door open really loud there, and uh, the guy heard it. So you picked up an intel file. Extraction. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. The map has been updated. Sorry, dude. Doesn't matter, we'll drop him, get the hell out of here. Swart C13 donated $10. Don't forget to fold and extract people and resources. I don't think I got the full, the, you're talking about that balloon thing, right? Yeah, I don't think I have one of those yet. I think you get it later on. So it seems like the guards actually go to sleep at night too. Cause I didn't sleep that dude. I want to thank you all for almost 700 likes on the stream already. That That's crazy. Okay, so we're almost out of this uh, out of this village. Get up high here and we'll call it the horse. Kick someone, you knock out. You put your gun at them. The whole wilderness on foot? Use your horse. Oh shit, I did not know that. So <laughs> Right. Now yeah. 
this area is going to be a bit harder. Extraction arrived at mother base. Got another checkpoint right here. Okay, let me check the map. Yeah, we can just take this road here. Can't you, yeah, I was gonna say, can't you hide on the horse? What's behind me on screen? The only thing that, uh, I mean, I guess I can move to the other side. The only thing that was behind me is it shows my uh, gun that I have equipped. And how much ammo. That That's what was behind me. But yeah, it'd be better. I moved it aside anyways. I said I was going to do it like 30 minutes ago, and I, I still didn't. Spot. This shit is huge. Yeah. Oh, we did do some Easter egg hunting this morning with the with the, with the kids. One day. They've got Miller locked up in that town. Whoa, whoa. Check your eye, Roy, for his location. I hope to hell he's all right. He's not your average client. Let's try to see. Um, I don't remember how I got in here before. I know there's a lot of defenses, though. There's a lot of soldiers. You got MGs, spotlights. So that's where Miller is. Marker removed. The AA guns. Now this radio, this satellite thing, um... Is that not what they used to call reinforcements, guys? So if you take that out, they can no longer radio reinforcements? Maybe it's th that right there. I don't know. I think I know there's ways that you can cut the power to the the facilities and there's ways for you to uh, cut the communications. All right, but this left side over here looks really really soft, so we're going to we're going to enter from that point. Well, my goal is to get in and out without even being spotted.
sun's coming up. I, I used too much of the scar cigar, went way too far into the night, so now by the time we try to extract out of here, it's going to probably be daytime. That's tarragon, a type of medicinal plant. It contains trace amounts of a benzodiazepine derivative that's the active ingredient in pentazamine. Right. It'll be dawn soon. Your surroundings will be easier to see, but that goes for the enemy as well. The guard detail in Soviet outpost changes in the morning, too. Watch yourself. Yeah. Would have been nice to know, man, 30 seconds ago. So the guard shift changes. Um, so now we got to kind of let the let these guys move around. Night shift's about to go rest up. So I only tagged about five guys. I know there's more in here for sure. Like there's two guards right there. What happened? What happened? What happened? Everything was chill and then it, until it wasn't. I think we're good. Took you so long. 
We'll talk, but not here. Well, this didn't go as planned. Extraction arrived at mother base. You secured the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. You can check the location on your iDroid. Stop! Mission Angel has been updated. Slowed you down one bit. Not so heavy anymore. That's right. Magic words, boss. I've been waiting nine years to hear We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, horse, stop fucking playing. Oh, they're shooting mortars at us. I see, I did press it. didn't do anything. Caution. Watch it any further and you'll leave the mission area. Caution. You are about to leave the mission area. Okay. We lost it all that day. Everything. But we've got to look ahead. This is Pequot. There's something Arriving happening. shortly at LZ. Yeah, that mission that could have went a, it definitely could have went a lot better. Is it going to land? There we go. Hey, Ham, do you read me? This is Pequot. There's a gas covering the LZ. We can't land. Pulling back. Okay, now it gets weird again. Yeah, forgot about this. These dudes are creepy as hell, man. Boss, watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. No, come on. Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude?
like they're gone. Yeah, I don't remember them dudes things. chasing me like that before. The unit that attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. Those dudes were fast, man. Survivors from nine years ago were wiped out in minutes. I don't know what they want, but it's them. No mistake. All right. Put Miller in. This is Pequod. There's an obstruction at the LZ preventing me from landing. Request immediate removal. Okay, so our first mission was a success. It could have went better, though, honestly. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Hey, we got... We got over 750 likes on the stream. I appreciate it. Gotta see what happens when you fight those. Yeah, I, I've never fought those. I think that was the last time. No, I think we see them, seen them one more time. I don't. I, a B rank? That's not that bad, right, chat? we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. Call home. <sighs> yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around out of cipher sight, digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it, we did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. Phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. We weren't allowed either. Yeah. I remember it all. <laughs> Start all over again. Now we'll, we'll get our stealth down. Yeah, I, I just... I definitely got spotted a few times. I didn't expect... Uh, I don't know why the guards got all active all of a sudden. You seen that? Like we were moving through and then all of a sudden they just were like on alert. See, this is what happened at the end of uh, Ground Zeroes. Exactly as I planned. No! Chico and uh, them, they're from uh, that PSP game. I forgot, I think it was Metal Gear Liber Liberty something. I forgot the hell it was called. It wasn't very good, but it, it did have a lot of big boss lore in it. Peace Walker, yeah, yeah, it was the P, whatever one was on PSP. Snake. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've 
lost. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Man, relax. You need a chill pill, man. Aren't you mother base? I don't know how long it'll You don't need to grab my damn base. Noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. I wish they would remake Metal Gear Solid the first one. Dogs of war for nine whole years. That ends today. Now you're not sleeping. And we're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. We can crush Cypher, boss. And you can build the army that can do it. Miller needs to chill, dude. Because this isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. So this is our base. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet with me. You came. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you.
Oh, the, okay, now we got the Fulton device. Start bringing people in. <laughs> Use this. Gotta start it's taking Fulton people. Recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? Let's do this, boss. Out like a light. Now approach him and extract him. Good. Extraction, Extraction complete. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead Have you bodies seen either. This is how you don't, don't play MGS videos with the Dark Side. You, just extracted will you be won't feel so bad about your mission after watching those laws. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. <laughs> I've never seen th that. Brian, thank you so much for the super chat, man. No, I've never seen it. Select staff management from the mother base menu. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Okay. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. What's wrong? Select weapons items under the development heading. Please That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Doesn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In uh, any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. Boss, put the iDroid away for a moment. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, boss. Uh, try throwing. Uh, uh, knock someone. Excellent, boss. Now extract them. Good. Extraction, extraction complete. Arrived at One thing I should mention: a Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather's unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. Come on, bro. Extract an otter, boss. Any Now that we have more people on the R&D team, its level has gone down. We should be able to develop a cardboard box. Open your eye drawer. Develop the cardboard box. Select weapons items under the development head. Now select cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development requires funds. GMP. Okay, we got, we got a decent bit of money. Development has finished. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've Supplies developed. Think requested. of it as your own personal delivery. Supply drop complete. And you can have them deliver you gear in the field, chat. Extract Asla. You can't. I've had drug resistance training. Give it a rest. That won't work on me. I've had drug resistance And there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. 
Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your iDroid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. Give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. Okay, so we'll have them come pick us up here. Marker, 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 marker placed. Marker removed. Marker removed. Marker removed. Okay, request helicopter pickup right here. Arriving shortly at LZ. I gotta get. I wonder if my gear is gonna repair before I go out. Well, it's going good. Going good. Remind me again how you manage to get the people in RD. If you, um, it just automatically puts them in there. Um, but yeah, you can choose where your people go. Uh, you'll find people in the world that have like different skills and shit. I, and then. Uh, you can assign them to your teams to level up your teams, and then the higher level your teams are, the more better access to gear and shit you get. For me, R and D, uh, I gotta check the, the the different departments. Please project. Yeah, won't let me move through that right now. I want to see what access we'll get later on. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. No, so we played this game on the chancel, channel um, a little bit before. We, we got like, I don't know, probably like 10 or so hours into the game. Uh, and then I ended up stopping. So we got a little bit before I get caught up to where we were. We gotta. We're just gonna have to be grabbing people while we're out and about, so we can get our hand. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. Please select a mission. There it is. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Ooh, easy. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. All right, so we could do this one first. We'll just do them in order. Um, let's see what the briefing is. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet Scorched Earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of the Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Dismasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Okay. So there's our first mission, chat. We gotta go eliminate a Spetsnaz mission commander. Accepted. Uh Yeah, we'll land here. Heading to Afghanistan. 
So yeah, this is where you get to choose your your loadout, uh, whatever you want to roll with. Oh, so you actually have to pay. I didn't know you had to pay um, for your for your loadout. This loadout's fourteen hundred and two like little leaves. I think that's for the sleep darts. So as you can see here, you can primary weapons. I don't have anything else, right? No snipers. Nothing unlocked yet. Uh, as you guys see, we got our rifle here, and then we also have the AK, which that's a cheap loadout there. If you guys want to go like with the cheapest of the cheap loadouts, uh, but we'll spend a little bit on this loadout. We got the arm. We got our pistol here. So we got the this uh, 1911. If I don't want to use this. They're both the same price, so it doesn't matter. Uh, support weapons. I got extra magazines, hand grenades. That's all we have access to right now. Items. We got a cigar. We got our box and MVGs. And then tools. Okay. So it's a really cheap deployment. But I'm pretty sure later on in the game it could probably get pretty pretty expensive, right? Uh, you could select Buddy. Uh, right now, the horse is the only one we have, so we can't choose anything else. And I think you can unlock like different things for your horse. Uh, we don't have any vehicles. And this is our only character. All right, let's do it. Uh, we'll head out at... Deploying. We'll start at 06. I was thinking about doing this mission at night, but we'll, we'll, we'll start off in the morning. If, it, if it's, depending on what the area looks like, we'll, we'll go to nighttime. Never use the horse. It can call, cost a lot to go in fully upgraded. Yeah, it's pretty cheap for us right now. We barely have anything. Who's my? I've only had the horse. I, I, I we never made it far enough in the game to unlock anybody else. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Let me take a look at this weapon list really Please quick. Specify a project. Okay, see, so I can, I can, I can purchase new weapons and uh, and stuff. Uh, we can get some C4. We can get a sniper rifle. Only issue is this one doesn't have a suppressor on it. See, so you can get these, but so what do we need to unlock this? The suppressed pistol. Okay, we need R&D level 4 and Intel level... or R&D 12, Intel 12. So we got to upgrade our, our teams in order to get hands on these this good stuff. Please specify a project. Yeah, I see we can get, like, sights on the, that. Look how expensive that stuff gets. Holy crap. 
Yeah, but there's like a bunch of more rifles and shit you can upgrade, but obviously you need to upgrade your, uh... ...your teams and stuff. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on. I guess we'll try to... ...bolt and extract as many people as we possibly can. Yeah. Just to grow our, uh... ...our base up. Oh. I wonder if I should, uh, get that sniper rifle, though. I, I, I have access to a sniper right now that... Extraction arrived at mother... You have arrived at your destination. You know what? Let's do it. Um... Weapons and items... Specifier project. Sniper rifle. Please select a drop point. I'm gonna drop it right Supplies there. requested. Okay, so I got him dropping off the rifle right now. Please specify a project. But what is this? Flare grenade helicopter. Luminous signals uh, used call and support helicopter. Supply drop complete. Okay, so that'll call in some heli support. I don't know if it's like heli gunfire support or what. We'll also grab purchase the C4. Yeah. Wait, where how my sniper rifle go? Oh, sh I should have freaking picked it up first. Damn it. Supply drop complete. I'll have to do another call for the sniper. I guess it doesn't really matter because I don't plan on killing anybody. And the, the sniper rifle is going to be loud. Smoke grenades are essential. Alright, so here's... Leave the horse there. I can't see their stats yet. Yeah, I got the dog last time. I don't remember where it was, but I do remember there being a dog. Kind of looked like a wolf. Um, but MC Doris, thank you so much for this, uh, this super chat. I, I really appreciate it. Or Mick... Deiros? Or... No, it's not... Man, I need glasses, chat. 
Uh, it's I don't know why I th thought it was M C. It's M E. Meteoros. There we go. So not not too. I mean, it doesn't help that my chat is super tiny. Uh, I think it's our guy right there. There's actually quite a few guys here. And as you guys can see, the, the enemies are actually quite vigilant. I didn't recall them being as vigilant as they are. It's not a bad thing either. It's it's it's, it's awesome. My, my chat, like, log, like, the letters are very, very small, and my screen is very far away, so, um, sometimes I have a hard time just seeing the letters. We got a ladder on this side. So you got to be careful when you're bolting people because I think the enemies can see it. <laughs> I'm just out here kidnapping people, chat. I wonder if I should get that guy out over there on high ground, too. That way we won't have to worry about any overlooks. Then we'll be able to push in there free and clear. Bet he's freaking coming this way. Searchlights manually operated.
We didn't hear it. Just trying to get his attention with the magazines. There we go. Oh, you can kill anybody you want in the game. I just want to recruit these guys um, to try to upgrade my base. He doesn't give a fuck, dude. We're just kidnapping everybody. I would like to get this guy up on the high ground here. Roger that. Hey, so I'm curious, um, how many of you guys in the chat, this is your first time really seeing this game? Uh, type a W in the chat if it's your first time really seeing it. That crack would make a good foothold. You can use crack climbing to make your way up. Wow, it's actually... A lot of people. Oh, wait a sec for this guy. Is there a way to increase your stealth so so you could sneak up on these dudes without them hearing you? You gotta extract him. Sneaking suit. Just take off your shoes, only wearing them socks. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty damn helpful. Okay, so pretty much we got a lot of the outer security taken care of. There's a commander right there. That's the target. Looks like we found him. So if I had a sniper rifle right now and I wanted to, you could just boom and be done with it, but I want to recruit him. Get 
Okay, there's two guys out front. Question is, am I going to be able to sneak in here, take this dude, and be able to get out without getting spotted? The answer to that is definitely no. Sandstorm coming in. I had to mute it because there's freaking copyright music coming out of the damn radio. Give me one sec. Let's see if we can turn it off. Oh, we took care of it, chat. And there's resources in here, too. Those materials have already been processed. It may not be much, but we can use them straight away if you bring them back to base. Take all this stuff. We might need it later on for upgrades. Yet. Damn, he heard me upstairs, guys. Stomping my freaking... Loud ass feet. It might be going down here, chap. Hoping it doesn't. Ah, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. We just gotta be patient. Move slow. Cause yeah, the enemy can hear your footsteps if you if you just clunking around. Now there's another guard going up top. Or was that the guy that was all the way up top? Yep, okay, that was the guy that was all the way up top, so we're good. Sandstorms coming in, so that will make it easier for me to move around without being seen. So, as sandstorms come in, sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. But that goes for the enemy, too. Use the situation to your advantage. Nice, they didn't hear it. Be a waste to kill him. But putting him to sleep doesn't count as eliminating him. 
Neither does knocking him out. We gotta get him out of here before the sandstorm clears. Perfect timing, man. Got him. Might be good to pulp in this guy now that the storm's gone. Where's the extraction point? It's only a 90% chance. It means there's a 10% chance he's gonna not make it, so. Let me see. Where's the extraction point? Do I, I, oh, I gotta call the helicopter in. Okay, so yeah, you actually have to call in your helo, I believe. Request support helicopter. Pick up. Please select a landing zone. Um. That LZ's the closest, but no, nah, we'll go to this one. The support helicopter Roger. requested. Let's go link up at the LZ. Extraction arrived. We've got a patrol right there, Soviet. Junior, thank you so much for the membership re-up, bro. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a great night. And thank you, guys. We got over 900 likes on the stream. I really hope you guys are enjoying this one, because, yeah. This is B -Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Oh, shit. I'm not even there yet, dude. Um, I, you know, I really wanted to play this game myself, so the fact that, you know, that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, this is Pequot. Means that you know I'll actually be able to play it. Support helicopter has arrived. Guys, I guess the traded extraction arrived at mother base. Development project has been added. Mission complete, boss. <laughs> Only a B? Uh, it's probably because of the guys that I, I, I alerted. Um, but damn, I thought I did better than that. We made some good money off that one, too. Uh, support helicopter armaments can now be developed. How you feeling, boss? Getting used to being in the field again? Having choppers and horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed.
Okay, we got an elite soldier, and he's a gunman. I don't know what the hell that's going to be good for, but definitely not R&D. We, we need the R&D. His, his R&D ranks a, a, a D, so... Uh, but we did uh, get... Nah, oh, man, a bunch of the guys we got are... Military, like, uh, yeah. That wasn't very good. Side ops list updated. The side ops list is comprised of problems we need you to resolve. Objectives to be completed, and information gained from the soldiers and prisoners you've extracted. These aren't missions per se, but if you can take care of them when you're free, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got our mission list, and now we have the side ops list. Extract a Russian interpreter. Uh, yes. Check it. Seems easy enough. Can you loot stuff on the horse? No. Uh, Buttsolo, I appreciate that. I hope you had a good Easter. I thought it was going to pull me out, um, and now I would have to redeploy. But no, we just extracted them, and we stayed in the field, so we don't have to redeploy again. <laughs> I know some of you guys said you don't use the horse, but what could what could be better transportation than the horse, man? This thing is dope. Is he up on top of this rock? There it is. Yo, he's so freaking little, man. I didn't even see him. <laughs> Look how little it is. Uh, only a 90% chance? Oh, that's terrible. Later, bro. Small checkpoint here where we got to get this Russian interpreter. We found out there's an English speaking soldier somewhere in the region. He's a language specialist. His role is to translate information related to the West into Russian. If we can get him to join us, we'll have the upper hand in information warfare. Oh, yeah. Find this language specialist and extract him. Okay, we go ahead and extract this dude. Now we'll be able to understand what the Russians are saying. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Looks like a really, really small checkpoint. 
That's yep. the target. Three guys here, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, they're all relatively close together, too, so we're gonna have to figure something out. <clears throat> I played Witcher on the channel, Jay. Yep. That Soviet soldier in the Green Beret is speaking English. Must be a language specialist. With him on our side, we'd be capable of Russian interpretation support. Try and extract him. Destination. Get him outside. Enough. Extraction arrived at another base. Unit function added. Black carrot. Something of an ancestor to the domestic carrot. It's also a favorite of wild animals. You can fault it. Oh, I can't. I was like, yo, you can fault in out mortars for what? Pay out. Uh, you you sell them. Oh shit! I didn't even know you could use them for your base. Oh. Let's go ahead and see. So, what other side ops did we have? The other one, I believe, was really yeah, it was really far up north. Specker. Regular missions here. Please select a mission. Destroy Soviets' comms equipment to prevent reinforcements being sent between outposts. That sounds easy enough. Mission accept. The map has been updated. I got a. I believe I have C4, right? Yeah, I got plastic. I got C4, so. Extraction arrived at mother base. And uh, guys, thank you. We got almost 950 hey, likes on the stream. You see many animals in the field. Truth is, an environmental NGO has asked us to remove wild animals from combat zones. If you have the time, can you extract some back here? There's a reward in it for us. Shit, I just wasted mad darts, dude. Trying to get this sheep. Yeah. 
See, chat, they want us to bring animals back. Oh. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I forgot the darts take a take a second to kick in when you don't uh headshot. Got it. It actually costs money to bolt and stuff. Yeah, sure enough, it costs 300 every time I use that. Not waste too much more. I don't have very much more suppressor. Here we go. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Disable the Soviets' reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see, where is this on the map? Okay, so Eastern Communication Post is to the north. Um, we just cleared out this checkpoint, so we should be good to head up that way. But we'll take the road this way. Okay, so we just gotta destroy comms equipment. Could be pretty easy. The map has been updated. Time's passed, so I don't know if they... Yep, so there is more guys here. And there's a truck coming. Is this the? Oh, yeah. Okay, look, we got a, a guy with a rate of oh, nice. I got no visibility right now, but you have arrived at your destination. It's like nice, but then I can't. I personally can't see anything. to locate the communications equipment at yeah. the facility. Fuck with that. We have to wait for the Sam Storm to pass. Take a truck? Yeah, we. I mean, we could get ourselves a vehicle at some point. Trying to get one of them big trucks, though, that would have been a pain in the butt right there without 
jumping into some kind of engagement. Perfect. Storm cleared up. Got machine guns, so we gotta be careful there. Let's try to get, get in a better position. That's not the comms equipment we're looking for. He's walking down toward the checkpoint, so we'll probably be good to move. That antenna is one of the targets. There should be more. Keep looking. First, you have to identify the targets. Recon the site with your binoculars. Once you know where the targets are, take them out to put their network out of action. How you do that is up to you. So is this not one right there? There it is. That's another one of the targets. Do you see any more? That looks like the target. We know where all the antennas are now. Take out all three of them. How you do it is your call. Okay, so I got C4. Um, try to move in close, plant the explosives, and then get to a safe distance in Denton. Uh, that was close. It was really, really close. Don't want to mess around. Let's see, how much C4 do I have? Four. Okay, so we got... Thinking of using C4? It's an explosive that you detonate by remote control after you've planted it. Explosives should take care of them well enough. How you do it is up to you. That one's gonna be a pain in the butt to get down to, I can I can already tell. So any of you other guys who uh, any of you guys in chat who played is this is this like the meta way to take out this mission? Is this how you did it? I feel like this is probably one of the best ways to do it. C4. Explosives 
explosives should take care of them well enough. How you do it is up to you. Got to figure out how the hell we're going to get up on that roof right there. It looks like we can get up from right there. Killed everyone and shot it with an RPG. I mean, that's definitely another way to do it. 100%. Might be able to get up right on this side. If I step up on that little wagon thing. Might be able to get me high enough off the ground where I'll be able to uh, get on the roof. All the explosives planted. Get to a safe distance and we'll dead it. What about the ranges on uh, the C4? I want to get rid right on this side of the rock so I can just dip. Alright, fire in a hole, fire in a hole, fire in a hole. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Good. That's the first one. Nice. Good work. You've completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. There it is. Extraction arrived at mother base. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Beats <laughs> out with a little bit of C4. Easy clap. Exfiltrated. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. There it is. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. <laughs> Got the A. Code name Chick. But why? How did I not get an S on that one? And there it is, guys. We got a thousand likes on the stream. Holy crap, thank you so much. Oh, oh, yeah. How's everybody doing tonight, though? Andre, how you doing? Yeah, we had a good Easter. Um, kids had a good time. Oh, timing? Like how fast you fin- Oh, I got you. Our army is growing like crazy thanks to you, boss. In fact, it's getting downright crowded around here. To bring a greater number of people on board. We'll need to expand our facilities. To that end, I've created a base development unit. It has two roles, material refinement and platform construction. I'll start with the material refinement part. The base development unit procures material resources on a regular basis according to its level. The materials are stored in containers and placed on the deck of Mother Base. Once they're finished being processed, how big you can they make can your base. Be put to use. 
By using these materials to build new platforms, we'll be able to add a greater number of staff to our ranks. We don't need any specific instructions from you to refine the materials, but I want you to be the one to decide how we construct platforms. Once we have sufficient GMP and the required material resources, you can issue construction orders from your iDroid. Okay. Prolonged time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Come on, dude. We were on a roll, man. We were on a roll. Michael, thank you for the super chat, brother. Um, happy Easter, Brian. And hey, I hope you had a great day, man. We were on a roll. Didi, come back. Oh, there he is. The little puppy. Bitch. Here's the dog you brought back. Bit of a troublemaker. Not sure about the breed, though. It looks like a It'll wolf. Bigger. Uh huh. Like this. You know I can look after him. He's still a pup, so he doesn't listen. I have a feeling someday he'll be useful. I suspect you discovered Easter, a real Brian diamond in the world. The little it. polish doesn't have an eye. I say we got a true diamond dog on our hands. There's our base mascot. So is that wolf thing ever ever good for anything other than a mascot and being the cutest thing in the world? Very useful. All right, so let's check out Mother Base really quick. We have so we could do an R and D platform. So we have a command platform right now. We'll do an R and D. This will increase the... Well, I guess we don't even really need to do that right now. Because I'm nowhere near the staff limit anyway. So we'll wait until we start getting closer to, like, staff limits. Auto assign with staff assigned A support level unit up to five R and D's up to five. Okay, so we yeah we still we got to go out and get a lot more people. Buddies and equipment. So it said I could get new stuff for the horse. Oh, the battle dress here. So reinforced with bulletproof ceramic plates. Um, that, I guess that would make the horse a little tanky. I don't really ride the horse in a battle like that anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, we got some Please helicopter upgrades. Raise friendly unit morale as a form of psychological warfare against the enemy. We got the speakers, not really. So we get, you can get rockets on your helos, missiles, armor. Hey, 
Please specify a project. I guess not. Let's grab the smoke grenade. And we'll grab the desert. We're on sand or soil to blend and make it harder for the enemy to spot you. This might help out with the area we're op operating in right now. Please uh select a drop point. Please specify a project. Okay, so let's see what the new missions are. Uh, challenge tasks. View challenge tasks, accept rewards. Development project has been added. Development project has been added. What am I just getting like free stuff from this? Development project oh. has been added. Nice. We just got like some free people for that for those challenges. Okay, so we got two new side ops. We got the Raya SMG blueprint side op and uh, to extract a highly skilled soldier. And let me see what, what was our main mission list Please looking like now. So over the fence, extract the engineer who tried to defect. And then we have where do bees sleep? Recover the U.S. military's new weapon code named Honeybee. So I feel like this Honeybee mission is where we... I think I that we're not... I didn't make it much farther than that, I don't think, on our first playthrough. Because so I think that was the one where we went into, like, that cavern, right? Um, and then there was uh, the skulls. And I had to shoot them with the, with the secret rocket launcher or whatever. All right, so while we're on the ground, though, we'll uh, if we're within the area, we'll we'll check out these side quests. But we'll start with uh, we'll start with this one by getting the. Uh if we're going to expand Mother Base, we need more manpower, and not just for combat roles either. R and D, the support unit, intel, each demands a different set of skills. If we want to achieve what we've set out to do, Diamond Dogs has got to get stronger. There's a Soviet engineer I want to have join us. He was the one who built your prosthesis. With him on our side, who knows what sort of enhancements he'll come up with for it. He tried to defect but didn't make it, and now he's being held prisoner at Waxin Barracks. Find this engineer and get him out. Having him on our R&D team will go a long way to helping Diamond Dog oh, yeah. grow. Okay, so we can get a nice R&D upgrade from doing this mission. Please select a mission. Please select a land landing zone. Roger. Well, Bushmaster chain gun with 50k on the horse. <laughs> I don't know if you. I don't think. I don't know if you can put weapons on a horse. That'd be crazy, though. time chat and thank you guys again for over a thousand likes that's that's amazing seriously By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own aerial command center, or ACC. 
Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. All right. Rewards. Daily bonus. MB coin. I don't know what that means. All right. Um. Customize. Now we're good. Development. Weapons and items. I think I already got pretty much everything I want for right now. Ooh. So I can upgrade the pistol to level two. Or my my. So what does it add to it? A flashlight. Upgrades the damage and it upgrades the effective range by a ton. So let, let's upgrade that. Um, grenade launcher, capture cage. Okay, here's an upgrade to our scope. Uh, allows us to. This will allow us to vet the soldiers and see if they're worth getting. And then I'll upgrade our eye droid. Okay, we'll roll with that stuff for right now. So this is good for when operating vehicles or weapon emplacements to blend in makes you harder to spot. And this is where on red soil to blend in makes you harder to spot. So each um, uniform has its own strong suits. Too bad we don't got the, uh, the optical camel that you get in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, the one that changes color. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Okay, so yeah, we'll land on the south Heading side here. Afghanistan. Well, let me grab a water really quick, guys, before we do my loadout. Take one sec. And B coins buy extra bases later. There's diamonds back at the base. We'll have to look at that. Alright, so let's see here. Let's get our loadout done. Uh, so, stuff's gonna get a little more expensive, obviously, as we progress. Grab our, we'll have our sniper and our, we'll, we'll run both of those. Um, our secondary, that's our level two. Got the smoke grenades. Alright, so we still don't have a whole lot of stuff to bring out yet. I'm gonna switch to the desert. Hmm. Zero. Yeah, we'll, we'll do zero six again. I didn't I didn't research the horse armor yet. I think you can select your custom character now. Well, I didn't even check that.
Let's take it. He's not down to be Fulton extracted. Do I gotta? Yeah, I probably gotta extract him in a heli. Your target just happens to be the man who developed your prosthetic hand. And he's the only one capable of maintaining it. If we bring him in, I'm sure he'll be able to modify it in all kinds of ways as well. Be careful down there, boss. Just like that, we're on our own, chat. Crescent. It's a type of medicinal plant. We can use that to make tranquilizer rounds more potent. Is that a bear? Option flashlight. Your weapons can be turned on via the weapon select menu. Oh, right there. Yeah, you can turn your light on or off. Also, you can take the suppressors on and off, too. If you're in a situation you don't want to yeah. waste your suppressor and just go loud. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I want the smoke with that bear right now. I'm just being honest. <laughs> oh, it's quite aggressive, isn't it? Oh, we got a Russian. Thanks, Bear. I appreciate it, dude. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. <laughs> that bear just got those dudes kidnapped. He's coming too. Mm. Roger that. Hold on. Let's get high ground and recon this area. This place is actually. A little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. That's the Waxin Barracks. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. What if we can infiltrate from up there, chat? You see that? Like, there's this strong side of the base here. Like a big door. Looks like, you know, we can go through the gate there. But also looks like I might be able to... Uh, I don't see a way up, though. Yeah, yeah, maybe like over here somewhere. I don't know if there's a way up that rock face. I was going to say, if I could find a way up that rock face, I could kind of traverse the high ground. We kind of get up here because there's nobody in that guard tower. Analysis complete. I forgot I could look at people's skills now. Analysis complete. All E's across the board. E, yeah, these guys are pretty bad. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Let's see if we can find a way up this rock face on the other side really quick. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. We 
We got a truck coming. Analysis complete. There's cracks in the- oh yeah, the- I forgot about those rock cracks. There's one right there. Coming this way, we're just like able to bypass all of their uh, security, all their fortifications. Analysis complete. And then they don't even have anybody up in this tower. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Now the thing I like is you, you can... When I set those explosives and I blew the comms, um... It kind of seems like you could use explosives to draw enemies to like a certain side of the base like say I want to go on this side of the base Plant explosives over there Come over here blow them up and then maybe pull the enemies that way to free up over here I don't I don't know how the AI is gonna react, but we'll have to see I don't want to do this at night, though. This infiltration. I wonder if we can interrogate somebody and find out where the scientist is. This guy seems like he's alone here. I'm wondering if we can get up close to him and interrogate him. Oh. Okay, somebody's calling for help. Yeah, okay, I found the prison. Boss, you've entered a building. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run.
Okay, there's so yeah, there's somebody in here talking. I don't know if that's our target, but we'll find out here. You. Oh, so I can I can lure enemies with my hand. I wonder if you. I don't know if you could take guys out from around the corners. So we're gonna find out right now. It's a little bit of a risk, but we're gonna try it. Oh, yes. Analysis complete. Let's put them in a the trash can here. Oh, you can't put- oh. A dumpster. Looks big enough to hide somebody. You could stash a downed enemy in there, or hide in it yourself. Just... Don't stand too close to me afterward. Large diamond. 100,000! I wonder how many bodies we could fit in here. Just the one. No, let's try to go quick. I think this is him. Analysis complete. Is that him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the targets. That's the target. Out of this. Sandstorm? Give us a cover while we're trying to get the hell out of here. Right. If there's nothing in the way overhead, you should be able to bolt them. No, not right now, dude. Not in this storm. All right, easy enough, right? Target extraction confirmed. Your objectives complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Yeah, so that was a really smooth pass path right there.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Yeah, I'm going to start being a bit more selective on the soldiers we grab. We're going to try to look for guys that are like, what, B rank or higher in a certain department. Exfiltrated. Alright, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. There it is. There it is. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Oh, there's that S tier. There it is. And we made some pretty good money on that one. The engineer we rescued has been extremely cooperative. The guys on the R&D team are glad to have him aboard. Thing is, his specialty is in mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm. If you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. What is, uh, well, what is it, dude? Um, okay. Prosthetic arm can now be developed. So I'll take it there's a lot of stuff to this game, chat, that I, I like, I, there's, there's certain times like this where I feel like I, uh, I'm barely, like, scratched the surface yeah, of a game. Boss, as requested, we've added an analyzer function to your binoculars. Now you can view soldiers or POWs and get a readout on their rank or any special skills they might have. Depending on their skills, they may even be able to develop new types of weapons or items. Yeah. Try it out the next time you're thinking of folding someone. It's like, I, I feel like I, I thought I had a good understanding. And, uh... I, I just feel like the game has so much that I'm not even... Not even ready to understand. Please specify a project. Okay, so where is the arm upgrade located? Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Yeah, I don't have access to anything else. Oh, we got to upgrade the R&D. Got you. There's medical arm, precision, mobility, active sonar. Okay. Let me see. So do we have any side ops near us? Where am I currently? I'm pretty far up north. We got the SMG blueprints down here at uh, the Wallow. And then... We got the highly skilled soldier up here. Marker placed. Let's actually go check out that highly skilled soldier. Yeah. You got the research on the Binoc arm. 
uh, to be able to unlock the rest. Oh, I got, I got you, I got you. I see what you're saying. We could scan these uh, checkpoints. If there's any guards in here, we're taking. Analysis complete. D. Analysis complete. There's some C's there. Yeah. Analysis complete. And some more C's. I'm not gonna settle for C's. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till we get A's and B's and stuff. I'd say B's and up. Bobby, how you doing? Sniper? Complete. Yeah, they got a good ambush set up up there. Yeah. Take as many soldiers as you can right now. Oh, uh, so pretty much right in the beginning, just grab anybody you can. Truck really just stop for that goat. Okay, so we got to get up top there. Remember what happens when we hit goats. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. That's why me and goats now have a good relationship. So one of them's isolated. I can maybe sleep him without alerting the others. That's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Alright, R and D's already up to nine. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I wanna see what do I need to get a suppressed sniper rifle? Not that it You know they are pretty important project. actually. Okay, shotguns, things like that, but I'm the snipers. This one right here, the M two thousand D. Let's 
So this requires R&D 13, and then this requires R&D 18. <laughs> So we're, we're still pretty far off. Um, the more you unlock, the more the tree... Uh, there's way more. Uh, well, my thing is you can't just put a suppressor on any any rifle, right? Like it, or can I put a suppressor on any rifle? Let's see. Yeah, you can't put a suppressor on it. Uh, do side ops to get the legendary gunsmith, and then you can customize your weapons. Ooh. Okay. So we did have one more side up, but that one was to the south, I believe. I got a thing. Let me see here. Please select a landing zone. Okay, all my LZs are super far away. So this is the Riot Another SMG place. blueprint. Let's go get that. I want to know how far, how how effective the sniper rifle is in unsuppressed. Like if you shoot from far enough away. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know, let's test that right now. I'm gonna test it on this checkpoint here. This is a pretty good range here. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Is there a bullet drop? I have no clue. We're about to find out right now. I just want to see how effective the... Or how how much the unsuppressed rifle gives away my location from uh, you know extreme range. Well, this I guess you won't even consider extreme range.
Good shot. So they know they're being shot at. But yeah, they're definitely not responding. There it is. Post captured. So they weren't able to put fire on me. Uh, they didn't know exactly where I was. But they had an idea of where I was. Like, the direction I was in, at least. They knew they were being shot at, but they didn't, like... Like, some games, you know how, like, like Far Cry games are real bad. You, you shoot at somebody, boom, they just instant aggro on you. They're coming at you nonstop. It's like... But that was not like that at, at all. They just kind of took cover. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. And oh crap, guys, thank you so much. We had 1,100 likes on the stream. Oh, uh, that was just a guard post. Bases have ways of dealing with snipers. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see, can we cut across them? I could cut across here, maybe? Yeah. To the other side of the mountain. Almost out. Oh, NPGs give you uh, sight in the sandstorms. Of course, as soon as I activate them, dead storm goes away. Checkpoint right there. So this was that village from the beginning. Kind of got an idea of the layout of this place. So what are we here for? Uh, see, what was the side mission for? Uh, Riot SMG blueprints. Marker placed. Marker marker placed. So at this point, my best bet would probably be to interrogate somebody, to ask them... Can you, like, inter like, could I interrogate somebody and ask them where the blueprint is? Problem is, I don't know how to grab people. Analysis complete. Trying to try to trying to see if we could find like an outlier. So 
Well, he was just kind of solo. This guy's, I mean, there's not many people around him. We'll get in a little bit closer here. Yeah, we got a Russian translator already. We go interrogation. So you can interrogate enemies after you restrain them with secure. So you can restrain an enemy. Do you grab or hold up an enemy? Try interrogating them. The issue is I don't know what the hell the grab button is. Let me see if it tells you in the controls. Says the attack CQC is left click. That's what I use to just melee people. Um, but I don't think that's what I want to do. Maybe, maybe you gotta hold it or something. and hold-ups. Whoops. Approach an enemy undetected to point your weapons at them uh, to put them in a hold-up. The enemy will drop their weapon and remain neutralized as long as you don't give them an uh, opportunity to retaliate. That sounds sick. There we go. Talk. The map has been updated. Yeah, you can grab them like this. Got it. Where are your friends? Got it. So did he... He's coming too. Roger that. Marker removed. He said there was a blueprint somewhere, but then he didn't it didn't highlight it or show me. Maybe we gotta zoom in. Oh there it is. Okay, yeah, it showed up on the map right there. That I think that's what we're looking for. It's yeah, a little interrogation. Find out what we need to know. It's not gonna lie, that, that did scare me a little bit.
There was a door on the side here. You have arrived at your destination. Just what we need to develop new weapons and equipment. Mother base. There it is. A landing zone. The support helicopter will be quite close by. So yeah, with the mission, with the map being so big and like, I, I don't know, I, I love stealth games like this. I feel like there's so many different ways you could go about approaching a mission. That you could do the same mission like five times and, and do it differently freaking every single time. I, I, I personally enjoy games like that. You know, it's kind of like, like the Ghost Recon games, you know. That was one of the things I really liked about the newer Ghost Recon games. This one's super cool, though, being able to, like, call in, like, had uh, evacs. You can call in supply drops and... I haven't played Blacklist on the channel yet. No, not yet. Oh, uh, we got some new short games that will be coming to the channel, but like Tomb Raider, um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is going to come before we do Simple Inner Cell Blacklist. You can drop heavy supplies on enemies from range. What, like call in an airdrop and have it land on them? Departing. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Troublemaker harassment? What? It doesn't sound like somebody we want. Side ops list updated. So I got a new weapon Please blueprint. Specify a project. It was for some kind of SMG, but where is that? Oh, that's a nice gun, too. So did I not unlock it, Chet? I, I, I don't get... I just did that blueprint mission for the SMG. But then I don't have an SMG unlocked. Oh, Riot SMG, right? This is, I think this is what I unlocked. Fires rubber bullets. Alright, there it is. 
All right, guys. So this is episode one. Man, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I, I really am. Uh, I'm, I'm having a great time with this. Uh, I hope you guys are. And obviously, you know, you guys came out, showed so much love already to this. And um, remember, like, if you want this to be a series, all you got to do is smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you want to see more. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be going. I'm going to get some sleep. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be doing some more stuff. Um, we've been flying through games lately. Flying through games. Um, some of the really, really shorter ones. This one, GTA, you know, Arc, those are kind of long term. And then the other games that we're going to be rotating in and out were games we could beat probably within like two, three, four streams. Um, but there it is, guys. Thank you so much for all the support today. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out. I hope you guys had a good Easter. And uh, yeah, thank you. That, that, I, I don't know how else to, to say it, guys. You, you all are amazing. I, I really appreciate the support. So again, if you guys have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.